What's up everybody, Marshall Dotson, 6 and we're about to break down in depth the story structure in James Cameron's papyrus propaganda film, Avatar. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on new story structure content, and let's get started. Dramatic Phase 1, The Setup The first dramatic phase introduces all the main characters and the antagonists, establishes the rules of the story world, and lays the seeds of the central conflict. Act 1, dealing with an imperfect situation. Jake Sully is a paralyzed ex-marine who's lost his sense of purpose. On Pandora, the humans and the Navi are on the brink of war, and the scientists and the soldiers have conflicting outlooks on their mission. Trigger happy moron. Limp dick science majors. Goal 1, the initial goal. Jake travels to Pandora to fill in for his dead twin scientist brother. Opposition 1, Oppressive Opposition Jake is ridiculed by his former brothers at arms. Let's go, special case. Look out, hot rod. Check this out, man. Meals on wheels. He's also insulted by the lead scientist, Grace, for being a stupid grunt. Turning Point Catalyst 1, The Disturbance The established routine at the complex is disturbed when company head Selfridge assigns Jake to Grace's team as security. Grace is displeased. Turning point one, the dilemma. Colonel Quaritch asks Jake to step into his office, so to speak. He offers to get Jake's legs fixed in exchange for spying on Grace and the Navi. The new role. Jake becomes a double agent, working for both the soldiers and the scientist. Act two, learning the rules of an unfamiliar situation. Jake goes into the Pandoran wilderness for the first time with little knowledge or training. Hilarity ensues. Goal 2, the transitional goal. Jake goes on his first mission, hoping to gain intel on the Navi for the Colonel. Opposition 2, incidental opposition. Within minutes of setting foot in the jungle, Jake disturbs a herd of space rhinos and attracts the attention of a hungry six-legged space panther. Turning Point Catalyst 2, The Reality Check After he dives off a cliff to avoid being eaten, Jake is separated from the team who must leave him behind because they can't run night ops. He soon makes acquaintance with a pack of hungry space wolves. Turning Point 2, The Commitment Jake is saved by sexy cat monkey Neytiri. When the magic dandelion seeds convince her of Jake's importance, he is taken to her village where he convinces the backwoods savages to teach him their ways. This turning point is generally where the story's main through line is made clear. For Jake, this is when he begins his quest to become one of the people, which he achieves in full at the end of the film. Dramatic Phase 2, Confrontation. Now that the character is following the main through line, he faces a series of obstacles as he becomes directly involved in the central conflict and bumps heads with the forces of antagonism. Act 3, Stumbling into the Central Conflict Because Jake finds himself thrown in the middle of a pre-existing conflict, he is first placed at odds with the untrusting Navi and jealous scientist as he aligns himself with the company. Goal 3, The False Goal because the main through line for Jake is to become one of the quote unquote people, his goal in this act, gaining their trust to convince them to leave Home Tree, is a false goal. Opposition 3, Intentional Opposition. Jake is picked on by the other Navi boys for having five fingers instead of four. Grace discovers Jake is a spy for Quaritch and moves the whole operation to the most secluded place on the planet. Quaritch finds out Jake is going soft and pays him a visit with its fist. Turning Point Catalyst 3, The Turn. Things get a lot more complicated when Jake mates with Neytiri, effectively marrying her. When his post-coital dreams are demolished along with Willow Blade, Jake finally takes a side in the conflict. But when Quaritch sees Jake's true colors are Navi Blue, he has the Avatar program shut down. Turning Point 3, The Moment of Truth. At this turning point, the character is finally truthful with himself about his situation and makes a decision to either change himself in some way or remain who he is. For Jake, he finally attempts to tell the Amatakaya people the truth about spying on them for the company, but his feed is killed by Colonel Quaritch before he can confess. Act 4, Implementing a Doomed Plan In this act, 
Jake and Grace convince Selfridge to let them re-enter their avatars to convince the Navi to flee before Home Tree is destroyed. Their plan backfires when the Navi hold them responsible and tie them up to watch helplessly. Goal 4. The Penultimate Goal Jake's penultimate goal is to save the Amatakaya people by convincing them to leave before Home Tree is destroyed. This is closely related yet smaller in scale than his fifth act goal of saving all the Navi on Pandora from those bothersome humans. Opposition 4. Self-Inflicted Opposition Jake willingly brings the opposition he faces in this act onto himself by going to Home Tree and telling the clan that he's been playing them the whole time. It goes about as well as expected. Turning Point Catalyst 4, The Low Point Home Tree is destroyed and dramatic music plays as many nameless Navi die. When his feed is killed by the company again, Jake is tossed in the brig for his crimes against humanity. Turning Point 4, The Newfound Resolve Jake awakens in the place the eye does not see, excommunicated from both his old tribe and his new one. He gets the bright idea to become Tarak Mach 2 by bonding with the flying monster thing everyone's afraid of. When he shows up at the Navi sacred place riding it, he's elected president of all the Navi on Pandora. Dramatic Phase 3 Resolution In the last dramatic phase, the two sides of the central conflict face off in a final showdown as the character attempts to achieve the ultimate goal of the story. Act 5 Trying a Long Shot because the Navi are technologically outmatched by the humans, Jake has the idea to use the magnetic fields of the Hallelujah Mountains to take out their targeting systems, and because it's a cool looking set piece for a final showdown. Goal 5, the ultimate goal. Jake has now earned his understanding of the ultimate goal. Humans are blundering oafs who must be eradicated at all cost. Opposition 5, ultimate opposition. The company sends all of their mercenaries and warships to wipe out Jake and the Navi in one fell swoop. Turning Point Catalyst 5 All is lost. Although Jake's warriors land a few lucky blows, the humans soon turn the tide with their fancy explosive doodads. When all of Jake's closest advisors and allies are brutally gunned down, his long shot appears to have failed. Turning Point 5 The Final Push Just when it seems the humans have all but won, the planet itself sends in reinforcements. Jake takes out the last few warships like a blue ninja, and he and Neytiri go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Korich in his Iron Man suit, killing him once and for all. Until the sequel. When Jake nearly dies from inhaling the toxic Pandoran air, Neytiri brings him back to life with the power of true love. And an exopack. Act 6. Living in a New Situation with the company vanquished, a few trustworthy humans are allowed to stay on Pandora. At Jake's first Navi birthday party, he casts aside his pasty human husk and transfers his consciousness into his avatar. If you want to learn more about Six Act Structure, pick up your copy of Actions and Goals, the Story Structure Secret on sale right now. It's Story Structure made ridiculously easy. If you enjoyed the vid, hit that like button and ring the bell to get notifications when new videos post. Or visit the channel to check out other breakdowns of your favorite movies like these.